Alright guys, it's Joe here for Cookie Junkie, bringing you a midweek video, for some reason, I don't know why, just felt like it really, on the Betterland mod, which is by AJW Geek. Uh, the link to this mod will be in the description, along with all the other stuff you're going to need. This will go through the installation and the setup of it, and just how to use it generally. So, what this does, it basically lets you put bucket plugins on Minecraft. It's it's that simple to be honest. I've put grenade on here. So if I get some eggs and chuck them BAM Ow. Bam! <laughs> yeah. So this before you could only really get this on multiplayer but now you obviously you can get any plugin on single player. I'll just show you that I'm actually Doing it on single player, as you might think, I've just gone on a multiplayer server. So, it was this one, I think. It does take a bit longer to load, but... Yeah, there we go. So, single player. But it kind of makes it act like a multiplayer server. Now, this has come about due to the 1.3 update in Minecraft, which introduced LAN servers into the game. Which basically means, like, you don't have to... If someone's got a computer in your house on the same router, then you can just access each other's single player, which is kind of... It, they've kind of just mixed multiplayer and single player together, just read up on it to get a better idea. So, the setup for this mod is really easy, and I'm just going to go through that now. Again, all the links in the description, and... Oh, Grenada is by Theodosis, so thank you for this as well. And the link to that will be in the description as well. To get this to work, you're going to want two things. You're going to want Betterlan and Craft Bucket, both at the newest versions. Don't look at my versions and get them, because if you're watching this in a couple of months' time, they'll both be outdated. So just bear that in mind. Don't get any plugins yet, wait until you've set it all up and then you can get the plugins. To start off with, I'd recommend saving all your wild files in like a backup folder, just in case something goes wrong. It shouldn't, but if it does, I'm not responsible for it. It's your choice to do this. So, go into your start menu and then type percentage app data percentage. Or, alternatively, and then just press enter, or you can do hit the Windows key and press R and then type in there percentage update percentage and click OK and then it'll take you to the same place. Once you've got that up, go to your .minecraft and then there'll be a saves folder with all your worlds in it. You can then just copy that whole folder and paste it somewhere else to save it. I'm not going to do it because I'm not bothered about those worlds, I've got mine backed up somewhere else anyway. So, once you've sorted that out, you're going to want to go back to your uh, back to your .minecraft folder and go into the bin then get the minecraft jar farm and right click it and then click open with and do winrar or 7zip don't use java, java just it won't work whatever just use winrar once you've got it open that really annoys me once you get it open delete meter i and f like you do with any mod if you and go to the better LAN zip thing, right click, open with WinRAR. If you run in Mac, go into the Mac folder and copy that in. Or if you're doing Windows, just go into this folder like I'm going to be doing. So go in here, then click Minecraft and copy all of these, all of the class files and the folders, all of them like so. And you can right click and copy or just drag them into the minecraft.jar. It'll this will come up then just click OK and then it'll load in and that's it, that's pretty much done. So you can X out with that now and go into your go into your computer and click your C drive, your main drive. And then what you're going to want to do here is make a new folder called server. No capital letters, no spaces, nothing, just server. That's all you're going to want to call it. And yeah, I've already, I have mine in here still. From last, I didn't delete that. So yeah. And then 
once you've made the folder, this won't be here, just ignore that. It'll just be blank like this. Drag the craft bucket, the new craft bucket, into the server folder on your hard drive. Then rename it so it just says craft bucket and it doesn't say 1.3.1 R1.0 or whatever yours says, just leave it like that. Once you've done that, what you're going to want to do is start your Minecraft up for the first time. Login. And it should load up fine. If it doesn't, you've done something wrong. And it should say plus better LAN. And that's when you've obviously knew it's known it's worked. Go on options, then click LAN options. Then turn bucket on. Click done. Done. And you'll notice it says bucket SSP instead of single player. Click on that. Then you can just choose a world or whatever. And the first time you do it, it will take quite a while to, well, not very long, but quite a bit to load. And it's basically just making all the folders and stuff in that server folder that you made. So we'll go, well, actually, yeah, we'll go over to that. Where is it? Here it is. So you can see now there are one, two, three more files. The properties file is just like Craft Bucket. If you've been on Craft Bucket before, then you'll recognise what all this is. And yeah, you can change that if you want to. The plugins folder is what you're interested in if you want to put your plugins in, like I am. To do this, save and quit, and then just like quit Minecraft. It does take a bit longer to save for some reason, just close that down. And go to your folder where you've downloaded a plugin to. It can be any plugin that's compatible with the version of Craft Bucket that you're running. So just look on the bucket form page and you'll you'll be able to find all your plugins that you want to do. Again, links in the description. Drag your uh, jar file of the plugin you want to install, this is Grenada like I said before, into the plugins folder of your server. And then once you've done that, go back to your Minecraft, open it, log in again, and turn, because if you go in now it won't work, you want to go to options, LAN options, and turn bucket back on. You've pretty much got to do this every time, so you may as well just get into a habit of it. Click installed plugins if you want to have a look at what you've actually got installed, and you can actually open your plugins folder directly from there, which is a lot probably quicker than going through your computer. Once you've uh, turned bucket on, go to bucket SSP again, open your world, and we'll play the world. And it'll load again. It does take a bit of a t uh, longer time on the first time of opening when you've got a new plugin or whatever. Because again, it's just making all the folders and stuff. So it will be a lot quicker the next time you open it. So here we are. And that's it. It is on. I can't really. I'm not on survival, so. I'm in. There. Uh, I'm not on creative, sorry, so I can't show the egg thing. But it is, it is definitely on and working so yeah if I save and quit now okay so if we have a look in the plugins folder by going options then LAN options and installed plugins then clicking open plugins folder or you can just go through your computer that way then you'll notice that Grenada has its own folder this will happen with any other plugin like Wild Edit, Essentials Guns Plus, Grenades Plus, any of them like that. And once it's got a folder, you've pretty much known it's worked. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it for the video. I hope it's been helpful. I didn't realise when I first made this how many videos there were on the form page. But when I started making it, the one any, and I said to the guy, oh, do you want one? He said, yeah. But yeah, anyway. Uh, so check the other videos out. They may help you more. They may help you less. Please comment on what you think it's like. Like, rate, subscribe. The usual crap everyone asks you on YouTube that you're probably sick of. I'll be doing videos every Sunday. So please, like, if you subscribe, look for that. And I'll see you later. A big thanks to Sunset Hosting for providing a fantastic Minecraft server. If you want your own, click on screen now or on the link in the description to be taken to the home page where you can order your own.